Good morning, Washington, Baltimore, and all the ships at sea. It's Dave TV for the 5th of January 2013. How y'all doing, everybody? I uh, <laughs> uh, just what the Washington just just what the readers of the Washington Post are clamoring for. Even though they're raising the rates on subscription home delivery, the readers of the Washington Post want more big pictures. We want more big pictures in the paper. We want more of this. We you know less to read and more to look at. <laughs> We want more big pictures. Give us more big pictures. Look at this. The real estate section. How much <laughs> how many articles could they fit in this space? We have to see this giant picture. Like, oh, that's so nice. I don't know. Man. And this thing has three articles. Style section, Saturday. Three. Three articles. Three measly little articles. None of them are worth reading. And the travel section, of course which is already a skimpy six pages. Big pictures. Okay, that's kind of a cool picture, actually. But uh, do we really need... You know, it's just it's a way of saying we don't have enough copy to fill the space. So we're putting lots of pictures in. So you're paying more money for less news. And in fact, you can not pay the money and get all the same news on our website. <laughs> is, this mo is this model broken? Mm, mm, mm. So let's go to David Zerwick at the Baltimore Sun. I don't know, man. This guy freaks me out. <laughs> he ran an article a while back. I guess it was earlier last year. And it said that Al Jazeera was carried by three cable systems. That's the actual wordage he has. Three cable systems in the Washington area. Okay? He meant to say three cable companies. Okay? Meaning Comcast, Cox, and probably Verizon, or, or maybe RCN. Uh, it's, it's wrong anyway, because in the D.C. area, Cox is carried, or Algiers is carried by more than three cable companies. It's carried by Cox, Comcast, RCN, um, uh, I don't, and Verizon, I don't know, whatever. But his wording was wrong. It should have been carried, it should have been said, it should have said carried by three cable companies companies, not three cable systems, because it's on a lot of cable systems. You know, it's on cable systems in Fairfax and Loudoun and Arlington and Fairf and D.C. and Montgomery and Prince George's. And so you're adding up the cable systems and we're talking about dozens of cable systems, three companies, three or four companies, multiple cable systems. And they didn't change it, you know, so he reruns, he what Dave do, likes to do, he make pontificates about something, and then he goes, by the way, folks, here's what I wrote months ago. And then he just copies paragraph after paragraph after paragraph. You know, it's kind of a lazy old trick to do, you know. And, of course, he copies with it the the wrong information he had the original time that the Baltimore Sun never, you know, it's kind of like the Post in the sense, well, we're kind of right. Not, you know, <laughs> we're close enough to the truth. What the hell? <laughs> ah! I don't know, man. These media, these local media reporters are, are, are a mediocre dime a dozen, man, I'll tell you. Ah, so one of the, uh, one of the interesting behind the scenes um, discussions uh, that happened yesterday. Let's see if I can pull this up on my Google Mail right now. We had a nice, interesting discussion about what the hell is going on with WNEW. You know, I have said, I have said that WNEW, what is CBS doing with this low-rated all-newser? They've been running it for a year, started just about a year ago, okay? It's Came on the air mid-January last year, so it's been running just about a year. Basically shown no significant ratings traction. You could say a little tiny bit. You know, maybe going from 27th place to 25th place in the ratings. Okay, CBS claims the station is making money. Okay, now you got to wonder, because they do have a big staff. When you're doing an all-newser, you got to hire a lot of people. You know, it's not just like playing records. Playing records. It's hiring, you know, you got to have people, newsreaders and producers and reporters and sports people and weather people. And, uh, it's a lot of people. You know, like they have to have a fairly large staff. And Jim Farley over at WTOP has mentioned that to me. He said, you know, we may make a lot of money here at WTOP, but we also have a lot of expenses, you know. And, you know, even though the station does make a lot of money, they have, you know, it, it costs a lot to run it. So, you know, that affects the profitability. 
And so you got to look at WNEW that way. They may, be, they may be making some money over there, you know? I mean, there is a high demand for all news in terms of from advertisers in the Washington market, and WTOP and WNEW tap into that. The question is, what is WTOP's, or what is WNEW's plans? I mean, what, what are they there for? They, according to CBS, that's it. They're a station. They're going to be on the radio dial for many, many years to come, and CBS is committed to the all-news format here in Washington. Uh, you know, and it leaves people wondering, well, then why didn't, if CBS is committed to the all-news format here in Washington via WNEW, why didn't they go for, you know, take back their own CBS newscast? You know, uh, WTOP's um, option came available at the, uh, at the beginning of 2013. And a lot of people thought, okay, CBS really wants to get in this war with WTOP. They're going to take the newscast back you know, because they've been on WTOP for years and years and years. Am I getting these mixed up, WTOP and EW? It's getting confusing. Anyhow, so I'm getting into this debate with some radio gurus yesterday about, you know, email debate, about what's really going on with WNEW. And I personally believe it's the drip-drip theory that they really want to buy. CBS really wants to buy WTOP, and Hubbard, the owner of WTOP, doesn't want to sell yet. So they decided, okay, we're going to run WTOP. NEW and just keep it going and you know maybe you know even if it doesn't make a hell of a lot of money you know we're going to just do it there to siphon as much ratings and revenue from WTOP as we can until Hubbard decides to sell it's a prestige thing you know here's the what national capital market and CBS runs all newsers all over the country and they want to have an all newser here in the capital of the news American news market you know and it's a prestige thing as much as anything else and that's what I think. Other folks tend to disagree with me. Um, one of my radio gurus says, speculation about a five-year plan to buy WTOP. That's what I said. You know, they might take them five years. It's preposterous. Wall Street is about now. CBS needs to make money now. They can't allow WNEW to flounder for four more years on the hope that they can buy WTOP. This is a public country, company who answers to Wall Street, okay? So, you know, these, these are some of my radio gurus telling me this, you know. Um, so one of my radio gurus really seriously thinks that, w, that CBS is going to take WNEW in 2013 and, and flip it to CBS Sports new sports radio network. CBS just started a sports radio network. But he also thinks they're going to move that signal to 1079, put Elzal back on 991. That's what he thinks. So Elzal, the 991 signal would be back to Elzal, WLZL, and 1079 would be the CBS sports radio network. I don't think that's going to happen. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. To put CBS sports radio network on FM on a fairly decent signal that covers both Washington and Baltimore is only going to cannibalize CBS's um, local sports talkers like uh, 105.7 The Fan in Baltimore, 106.7 The Fan in D.C. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You know, they're only going to, you know, it's, it, they're only going to hurt their local stations doing that. Uh, I can see CBS using the CBS Sports Talk Network for shows for 105.7 and 106.7 in some of their weaker time slots and maybe putting it on an AM or on an HD2 or something. But I just, may, my little brain here says it doesn't make any sense to put CBS Sports News Radio, Sports Talk, whatever the hell it's called, the CBS Sports Radio Network on a major FM or in the Washington Baltimore area to compete with 105.7, 106.7. I don't see that happening. And I don't know, I can't, I, I just, I can't see CBS pulling the plug on WNEW anytime soon. I just can't. It doesn't make any sense. You know, why start this thing up? They had to know that it was going to be a slow grow. That has to be worked into their plan. And it's a prestige thing. It's prestige. We're all, we have an all news. You know, it's like, why does Salem run WAVA? It makes no money. Well, it makes money. It does make money. But it's got no ratings. It's a great signal, no ratings. Why? Because Salem, religious-based Salem, wants to have a signal in the national capital market. You know, why is Bill Press on some dingy little station 1480 out of Dumfries? Because he wants to be on in the Washington market. It doesn't care if anybody's listening. He just wants to say, I'm on in Washington. And I think a lot of these people are like that. CBS wants to say, we're on in Washington. We've got an all newser in Washington and one in Baltimore, uh, not in Baltimore, in Boston, and, and uh, a news talker in Baltimore, Boston. And we've got in two all newsers in New York and LA and, and, uh, and in Washington. So, I, you know, I think it's a prestige thing. 
and it's got a two-fold thing. They want to get T.O.P. They really do, and you know, but they don't mind, you know, cutting, uh, you know, a deal here to keep N.E.W. I think W.N.E.W. is going to keep running. I don't see it changing much. It would, uh, you know, it would be smart to maybe make it a news talker like B.C. in Boston. You know, maybe if Rush Limbaugh gets kicked off of M.A.L. because of the cumulus and all the negotiations going on over there, he might end up on W.N.E.W. Hey, that would certainly, um, I don't know. But then that would be a lot, very complex thing because uh, that would hurt into W.C.B.M. at a Baltimore because, well, you know, hey, that would certainly boost W.N.E.W.'s ratings if they suddenly marketed themselves as a news talker for Baltimore, too, and then took Rush Limbaugh and Sean Hannity, put them on W.N.E.W., and uh, kicked them off of CBM and MAL. Hmm, that could be uh, an interesting thing. The other interesting thing that happens with WNEW is they step on uh, CBS Baltimore's footprint there. <laughs> you know, there's not a lot of love. There's not a lot of love between the guys that run CBS Baltimore and CBS DC. There just isn't. I don't know. It's a big, complex thing. Uh, a lot of my radio gurus are just still wondering what the hell's up with... Uh, with um, WNEW, you know, I think it's going to just keep on trucking the way it is pretty much through 2013. Uh, I don't see any big changes there. I really don't. Um, you know, they would get higher ratings if they put an oldies format on there or maybe brought it, brought it back to HFS. But this is prestige. This is a national thing. And I think uh, I don't think it's going to change until I think CBS is committed to having an all newser here in Washington, regardless of the ratings. Um, and hopefully down the road, pick up T.O.P. That's what I think. And I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, uh, one other nice, I got a really nice note. Uh, where did I put that? Where did I put that? Here we are. Really nice note yesterday from Dawn Conrad. She's the wife of uh, John Conrad, who passed away earlier this week of pneumonia. He was the guy who ran uh, WGTS, Vice President, General Manager, Christian Contemporary WGTS. And I did that Dave TV a couple days ago, where I really praised him. I thought he was a great guy. Um, anyway, she writes, this is, this is John's wife, Dawn. I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your tribute to him. You really, you, you summed him up. It made me laugh and cry. Thank you for seeing and verbalizing what a great man he was. And thank you, Don. And uh, John was a great guy. Yeah, I never met him, but we did email a lot, and we were in you know communication quite a lot. And uh, I always you know thought he was a great guy. We need more John Conrads here in Washington. All right, folks, that's Dave TV for the fifth of January, twenty twelve. I'm getting the, <laughs> see, I'm getting the year wrong. Twenty thirteen, twenty thirteen, twenty thirteen. Thanks for watching Dave TV. Live long and prosper.